Ai. Um. This is my black label book. Three Jokers. Yeah. Good book. But like I said, if Dula Dunn appears at the very end, I'll eat my hat. I don't think... I don't think as much as they want you to believe they'll sort out what happened to the Joker, or who is the Joker, or... How, how does the Earth... How does the Earth have three Jokers at the same time? Is it time travel? No! I'm calling it right now. They're not going to sort it out any more than they'll sort it out if Jimmy Olsen and the Joker still hate if the Joker still hates Jimmy Olsen from Countdown. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It ends with the Joker pointing a lens at Joe Chill, which they could right there have Joe Chill say, I didn't do it, but I don't think they will. Because um, people like me, old fans, and if, if you're watching this, you are too, an old fan. They've kind of pushed to the background what we remember, slowly but surely. On, on the other hand, they might acknowledge that the Joker shot Batman in some world because that whole Michael Keaton Batman thing, but who knows? That's just a rumor. I mean, don't feed into the rumor mill, kids. That's one of the last things you want to do. Rumors aren't wonderful. I mean, Mom was kind of right. They are making a pool of Jokers and Lazarus Pit stuff, but I say Lazarus Pit stuff because they haven't acknowledged what's in the vials. Yes. There might be vials of Lazarus Pit goo, just like in the Batman animated series comic, for all we know. Yeah. One could be the Batman who laughs. I doubt it, but if they're feeling particularly toyetic that day, sure. Um... That, that means to sell toys, you know? I did like the end, but it, it was exactly that, an end, not a beginning. What I think they're going to do is they're going to lead into another series. They, they're going to call it, like... God, I'm horrible at this. Because, like, when they started... When they started... Showing out 
clues about the time. The God. when I started shelling out clues about the futures. <sighs> Future state in, in the old time master things. I kept on the new time master series because I, I still think it's going to have something to do with Flip Hunter. But that's neither here nor there. Point is, I'm horrible at naming things. So. Um, I think it's going into a new series, let's call it Three Jokers 2. I don't know. Some, they're gonna do what they did at the end of Doomsday. The end of the button, the beginning of Doomsday Clock. Where the end of the button was just a huge... Coming in December, Doomsday Clock. And, yeah, that was that. And that's what I think they're going to do here, too. Where it's going to be like, coming next year to Black Label. Three Jokers to the Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> yeah. If they're smart anyway, I mean, tying up the whole Joker's loose end, that's just stupid. Why would they want to do, why would they actually want to tie up loose ends? Think about it. They want you to think. They want you to buy more books. They want the Red Hood to stay miserable. They want everybody to think he got beat to death with a crowbar. <laughs> they want you to remember the history they want you to remember. Oh. Um, I could be completely wrong. Batman Beyond could show up. In this, I don't know. Yeah. There could be the huge twist that it's all in Cycle Pirate's mind. God, I hope I'm wrong with that. That uh, we don't use Cycle Pirate because we're all afraid. To address that, that um, the character had mental illness or wasn't crazy to begin with. Whatever. Yeah. Um. Red Hood's never going to become a monster. And if he does, it's going to be for this thing and not for the whole span expanse of the big issue the, the trade yeah big issue the big book yeah um it was cool to see him as like a Jokerized gas version of himself, but that's all it was. It was cool to see him that way because people forget about that character as much as as much as I hate to say it. Jason Todd's story is so inconsistent because people don't frequently buy Jason Todd books. I mean, think about it. When's the last time you saw me, personally, buy a Red Hood and the Outlaws book? It's been almost a year. 
I mean, I know what's going on because we keep updated and and that whole thing, but his his whole storyline really isn't that that interesting. Yeah, I'll give the book a I'll give the book a four because it stopped right when it was getting good. When when I was getting ready to answer the questions of is this an alternate timeline and stuff like that. Where's Dula Dent? You know, stuff like, like that. Good questions, but then all of a sudden it, it just stops. You're enjoying the book. Is, is the Joker like this eldritch god from Lovecraft where he um, lives forever? There was one writer that kind of hinted at that a couple years back. I, ho I hope it's not that because I like to see my Joker be a little frail and old and Part of the old guard. But, yeah. I'd love to see him be just part of the Silver Age, the Golden Age, even the Dark Age. Haven't. Have him have what Grant Morrison calls hypersanity. Kind of like Deadpool. I'd love to see that. But like I said, I, I don't I don't think they're going that route. Not in this book. In the sequel book, maybe. But in this book, they're just setting shit up. We'll find out in the next issue. And until then, Bob out. <sighs> I tried to squeeze a lot in there.